so today I'm going to be doing a Kylie Jenner inspired uh, makeup tutorial. Um, the picture in the beginning of this video was what I am, what I kind of recreated slash um, inspired look. Obviously, it's not exactly perfect. Um, it's more of an inspired look, but I hope you guys enjoy. Um, it's kind of what it looks like, the eyes and the lips and the face and everything. So, um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this tutorial and I will get right into it. First off, uh, Kylie pretty much has like a flawless face with a really strong highlight and contour. So I'm going to first try to achieve that flawless face look. I'm going to apply primer. This is my favorite primer so far, the Instant Age Rewind. Um, I used it in my last Getting Ready video. So I'm just going to take some of this on my hand and apply this to my face. Alright, next I'm going to be using my Revlon Photo Ready Foundation. I really love this foundation. It gives a really flawless um, coverage, so I'm going to fix my mirror, and I'm going to apply this all over my face and then blend it out with a brush. Okay, so now that I have the foundation on, I am going to conceal. I'm going to be using my L'Oreal um, Magic Lumi Highlighter Concealer because, again, she has a really strong highlight. So I'm going to kind of take this all the way down and make a V shape, like so. I'm also going to apply this on my eyelids to cover up the veins and stuff. And I'm going to go ahead and just blend that out with my finger. I'm going to use a tapping motion so that I get the best coverage. Um, this takes a little bit longer to blend out when you just tap, but it gives the best results for a really nice highlight. But on my eyelids, I am just going to kind of rub it out because I'm just trying to cover there, but under my eyes, I am trying to highlight, so tapping is the best option in my opinion. I'm also going to take that concealer and kind of bring it down my nose and my cupid's bow. I'm also going to highlight with a different highlighter as well, but this is just kind of almost like a primer for the highlighter. And next I'm going to be taking my Glamouflage by Hard Candy and I'm just going to conceal any spots, any blemishes or spots that I feel like I need more of coverage and I'm just going to tap that in. So I'm going to go in with my favorite powder, which is the Stay Matte Powder. This makes my face look absolutely flawless, and I'm taking a Bare Minerals uh, really nice brush and going ahead and tapping this all over my face to kind of set the foundation and the concealer, the highlighter, and make my face look absolutely flawless. She has a pretty matte face, but it does have a lot of highlight and contour, but it's not dewy. It's pretty matte, so... Next I'm going to contour, and she has a pretty um, defined contour bronzer on her face, so I'm going, ahead, going to go ahead and take my NYC um, Color Wheel uh, bronzer, and I use this again in my Get Ready video. I use pretty much the same products, they're my favorites right now, so um, none of these products really change, I'm just doing different looks with them. So I'm going to take a pretty big fluffy brush and go ahead and go into that bronzer, kind of get a little bit more than I normally would. And kind of, I'm going to kind of squeeze the brush a little so I get a little bit more of a defined contour and kind of go up and down from my cheek. And I'm only going halfway because it looks a little off if you go like all the way to like your nose and mouth. So, and then I'm just going to blend it out. And then I'm going to blend this up to my temples. She does have a pretty just bronze and highlighted face. And go under my jawline as well. She also has a very um, defined nose. She definitely contoured her nose. So I'm going to take a C brush, and this is by e.l.f. And it's just kind of a fluffy, nice brush for contouring your nose. I'm going to take the same bronzer. I'm going to go into like the darkest color, and I'm going to kind of start where my eyebrow begins and go down. I know it looks crazy right now. We will blend it, I promise. Um, I'm going to go around my nose, and then again go from my eyebrow and go down. I'm going to take this uh, fan brush right here 
and just go ahead and blend that. You might want to close your eyes because <laughs> the brush is a little... This is pretty highlighted already, so we're going to highlight the rest of our face because Kylie has a very highlighted face in this picture. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and go into my MAC Skin or Mineralized Skin Finish sorry, in Soft and Gentle. I'm going to go under my eyes and kind of at the top of my cheekbones first. I'm doing a little bit more highlight than I normally would. The last thing I'm going to be doing is taking that same bronzing brush and she doesn't have blush on, um, but I'm going to add a little bit more of a bronzy look. So this is by Lancome, and this is kind of like a bronzer blush. It's in the color Summer Mocha Havana, and I'm going to take a little bit of this and apply it. So now, um, the last kind of thing I'm going to be doing, since I have the bronzer, the highlight, I'm going to take my same matte powder one more time, just kind of go over those highlighted parts, because she does have a pretty matte face. It is highlighted in bronze, but it is not, like, dewy. So I just want to go over those highlighted parts a little bit, just matte them out just a little bit. Um, you still want to highlight, but you don't want to be like dewy or shimmery or anything like that. But pretty much that is her what her face is semi looks like. Again, this is an inspired look. It's not like I'm not recreating it or anything. She has pretty arched eyebrows, and I don't have very arched eyebrows, but I'm going to try my best to kind of get that look. So I'm going to take a little spoolie. I'm using the NYX uh, Eyebrow Cake Powder. Again, I used this in my Getting Ready video. If you saw that, I'm going to first just kind of brush my eyebrows so that they are in place before I apply the powder to them. Oof. Take the darkest color because she does have dark eyebrows and I have dark hair and I need to make my eyebrows match my hair anyways. So I'm going to take the powder. I'm going to start from the beginning of my brows. Kind of just start filling them in. And then when I get to the arch, I'm going to kind of arch it a little bit more than I normally would. I'm going to try to recreate her eyebrows. Obviously, I'm not the best at that, but as you can see, it's a little more arched than this one. Looks like she has like one color kind of blended into her um, lids and crease. It's kind of just like a shimmery light brown color. So what I'm going to do is take a push up in the Too Faced Natural Eye Palette, which is this color right here. I'm going to take a blending brush. I'm taking this brush by Lancome. It's just like a fluffy kind of blending brush. And I'm going to take that color, blend it on my eye, and blend it into my crease. And I'm really going to blend it so that it's not harsh at all. She does not have harsh eyeshadow in this picture at all, so. She also kind of has this eyeshadow a little bit blended on the lower lash line, so I'm going to take that, very lightly blend that on the lower lash line. I'm only going halfway in because, I mean, I don't want to go all the way in. It will look a little bit too harsh, but she just has it very lightly blended on the lower lash line, so I'm going to go ahead and she also doesn't look like she has top eyeliner, but she does kind of have a defined, like it looks like she has almost eyeshadow on her um, upper lash line. So I'm going to go ahead and go into the Naked 2 palette. I'm going to take Blackout, which is the last color, and I'm going to take a very small kind of angled eyeliner brush, and I'm going to go ahead and do eyeliner with eyeshadow. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. She looks like she has very minimal bottom eyeliner. She could, it could just be the mascara, but I'm going to take my Maybelline Define Line and just do very light um, bottom eyeliner. I'm just kind of touching on my uh, waterline. She has very, very defined lashes, especially her bottom lashes. So I'm gonna take my eyelash curler and go ahead and curl my lashes. Alright, I'm going to be taking the L'Oreal, I'm not sure what this mascara is called because there's no name on it, but it's black. And this is really going to give me a lot of volume and make my lashes super black, so I'm applying this to my top lashes first. I'm going to apply another coat of this mascara, again because her lashes are super black and super defined, so I want to achieve that look. 
All right, and I'm also going to be taking the Mega Plush by Maybelline, and I'm gonna go ahead and apply a third coat of mascara to the top lashes, and then I'm gonna use this for the bottom lashes to go ahead and define those. Last thing is the lips. So I'm going to go ahead and do her lips. She has like a famous kind of lip that she does. So in this picture, I'm going to try to achieve it with what I have. But I'm going to go ahead and apply this all on my lips. I'm going to line them and then fill them all in with this. Okay, so now that I've lined my lips, she does have a pink, like a darky pink nude lip. This is very, very pink. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and take, if I can find it, this Revlon Color Burst Matte Lip Balm in Complex. And I'm just going to tap this on because her lips are not completely nude. They are pink nude, but they're not this pink. So I'm going to go ahead and tap this on, make these lips a little more nude. She doesn't have glossy lips. They're definitely more matte than glossy. So this is perfect, and again, I'm just tapping this on until I get the desired look. If you guys enjoyed this video, leave any requests on my page, in my mailbox, or in the comments below, and I will talk to you guys later. Bye!